Julian from Digital Trends, and we're here with in the Android Experiments booth. And uh, we're, what's this called? So this is called Elements by uh -huh. Leia. Elements. And it's kind of a generative painting application. Uh -huh. So you make a gesture, and it repeats that gesture over an axis, mirrors it, and then it's using the back-facing camera to sample colors. So we put it onto this X and Y axis to be able to get a wide range of colors for people to play with. Okay, so basically it's mimicking the color in the background to sort of create a design. Yeah, yeah, it's using it for its color, color sampling. Right. Uh, and it works with any, you know, whatever image is coming in through the cameras. Okay. This is an application called Boo. This is called Boo? Yeah. Okay. And it's using facial detection. So mm -hmm. right here I'm just covering up the, the camera as a way to illustrate this. These characters kind of come out and they have this, this playful interaction with each other. Uh -huh. But when they recognize a face, they get afraid and they all disappear. <laughs> so what kind of technology are you using? Uh, so it's built on Android and Android Studio, uh, and it is using OpenCV for facial recognition. Uh, and all of this is available for all the projects that are open source and available on GitHub. Okay. So other people can you know take all the code used to make this and just build other things with it as well. So do you want them demonstrating that again? Sure. And so when you put your face closer to it. Then once it recognizes the face. <laughs> it's kind of static, right? Cool. This is Inkspace? Yeah, so this is Inkspace by Zach Lieberman, and it is a 3D drawing tool. Uh -huh. So you can draw any form on it, and it becomes 3D immediately, so that you can then continue to build your creation in different perspectives. Yeah. And then there's a cool mode, this lightning bolt, where things are kind of constantly repeating the cycle of them being drawn. Uh -huh. So you can create little animations of like the process you used to create. And then all of these can be outputted to uh, animated GIFs. Is this an app that's available? Oh. Yeah. yeah, all of these are available for free on the Google Play Store. As oh, well including as Boo and this one? Yes. That one too? Yeah, all of them. This is Time Mesh. Yeah, so this is Time Mesh, and it is using OpenGL on an Android Wear watch face. And so there is a, a mesh doing a physics simulation uh, that just kind of ripples time, and it's based off of accelerometer input. Rope is coming down. And gaze effect. And so gaze effect is uh, it's a playful watch face where every time you turn on the watch or look at your wrist, a new eyeball appears. So it's kind of like a playful counter of how many times you're checking your wrist to know the time. Okay, cool. This is designed actually by you, and it was, it's called Tunnel Vision. Yeah, yes, yeah, this application, Tunnel Vision, kind of based off of this first filter here, is a, a camera toy using time-based filter effects. Uh -huh. So it saves recent frames out of the video camera and puts through an OpenGL graphics pipeline to kind of make cool time distortions. And we put it into this kind of cage so that you can really just kind of shake it around and play with it. And there's all of these various effects. So you can uh, make videos with it, you know, put them on Instagram, share them, do whatever you want, use them for art projects. And it's a fun variety to play with. Yeah. Um, finally, we have uh, what's this one called? Yeah, this one's called the Yo-Yo Yo Plotter. Yo-Yo Plotter. Yeah, it's called with I O I O. Okay. And so basically, we take your picture with this phone uh -huh. and we grayscale it, and then we have an algorithm for finding the dark spots in the image and drawing you as one continuous line. Okay. And then we we send yeah, those continuous points uh, to the Yo-Yo board to control moving these two motors to triangulate the position of the pin to draw your portrait. Okay, cool. And uh, there's an app for that available right now that you can sort of take a picture of yourself and it'll sort of draw it on the app with that? Yeah, so the, the app is available, the source code is available, the Yo-Yo board can be purchased for $30, or if you can make your own, you can also find the schematics to make a board. Uh, and the, plot, the process of making the plotter is available. As well. And where can you buy the the yo-yo board? The yo-yo board can be bought on Sparkfun. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, uh, many of those uh, those electronics retailers.